uh, about streaming and to preview the match as well, we are joined here by Evil Genius Snoopy and X Smithy from XDG. So guys, uh, any big moments you guys know from streaming? Um, I remember one time specifically, um, I was streaming um, a game and I just got out of the game and someone posted a link on Twitter and I clicked on that link on Twitter <laughs> and it was actually a screamer. Um, I, like, I was eating a bowl of cereal at the time and threw the bowl of cereal up in the air and all over my keyboard. Um, so it was a bit of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, like, streaming is a great thing. I've not done as much as I like in the last couple of months. I've been kind of knuckling down a little bit. Um, but I'm trying to stream a lot more now and interact with the fans more regularly. How important is the second monitor for uh, streaming? <laughs> uh, st like, you need a second monitor no matter what. Not only because if... I, I remember streaming on one monitor, and I would basically alienate anyone else in the world uh -huh. but my fans during that entire time. Um, because I would totally ignore Skype, totally ignore emails, totally ignore everything for an entire day. Um, but you need it as well to make sure that you can interact with your fans. Like, when they're, they're on the chat on the second monitor, you can, like, see what they're saying all the time. One time specifically, I had my microphone muted for about an hour and a half, didn't even realize. Didn't realize I had my microphone muted. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because they didn't have a second monitor. Yep. All right, Smithy, what about you? Uh, how come we don't see you streaming at all? Uh, one of the biggest reasons that we're not streaming, uh, mostly everyone at XDG, is uh, our bandwidth is not that uh, high to stream at all. Because like, if someone's just, like, video calling someone, everyone goes to like 300 ping when we play, so it's really bad. Uh, it's pretty rough for you guys. Hopefully you can get that sorted out in the future. We want to see you guys play in your games in solo queue. So <laughs> you guys are playing second match of the day here. Um, what are your thoughts coming into your match? I think one thing is it's our first time me and x have actually played against each other, which yeah. is yeah. going to be pretty interesting. Um, I look forward to playing against them. I watched your games yesterday. Um, some really aggro level two. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that? Uh, yeah, I've seen so your game today. It's like some aggro level two to five. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we're looking out for that. If the two of us just like clash in the middle or something like that, would be pretty <laughs> funny. Um, it's going to be a really good game, I hope. Smithy, what do you feel? Uh, it's going to be really uh, aggressive, like what he said, like early levels. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be playing uh, two aggressive junglers early so that it's going to be really fun uh, in the early stages. So speaking of clashing early, um, counter jungling definitely coming to mind. That's been very popular, especially with the uh, EVE players yesterday. Smithy just returning to the jungle. How comfortable are you with uh, counter jungling and people invading you and uh, dealing with that sort of situation early? Uh, I feel like this season, every other jungle except me like, has been improving a lot, like mm -hmm. drastically. Most of the reasons, like, a lot of new junglers uh, came here. Uh, Snoopy, uh, Dexter, uh, they've been improving the whole NA scene as a, a whole lot. And I think I just came back in the jungle like a few weeks ago, and I just started improving. So I need to work on uh, the newer stuff in this season. Okay. So uh, I was talking to new stuff. Of course, we've seen the Evelyn start in a counter jungle. Snoopy, I wanted to press you on your game against C9, because you never got to talk to you about uh, a couple of weird things that happened in that game. Anything you want to talk about that game? So one thing I want to address in particular is like the early game actually went well for us. Pre-level four, it went really well for us. But then you saw Lemon Nation come through the river. Um, and I saw him. I had a complete vision of him. But I didn't respect the hook. And that's one thing that every, every time you play against the Thresh, you respect the hook. And I didn't do that. I didn't flash away from it. And that game would have been a lot smoother if I actually just flashed the hook. Um, mm -hmm. And then beyond that, when you're playing Evelyn, the biggest thing against it is the pink wards. And Cloud9 is one of the best teams at vision control. And you saw they had this defensive line in the river of pink wards that we could never really clear because it was always a risk to try and clear them with Evelyn because they can just collapse on you instantly. And we saw that with Lemonation, we saw that with Meteos, and we saw it with High as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then a couple of times, I actually got stuck in the jungle one time, and their jungle, because basically I was trying to kill the Pink Ward, got collapsed on, and ended up going into their jungle. And I had to stay in their jungle the entire time, because if I ever went back out, I would at risk of dying and giving them like a free blue buff or something. Sure. And I, I couldn't recall as well, because if I recalled, <laughs> then they would just go for Dragon, and we'd have no contest on the Dragon. So it was a bit of an iffy situation. I think Scarra tweeted the, the Metal Gear Solid tweet as well, um, mm -hmm. brought that up. So it's, it was a pretty interesting point in the game for me, that one minute just sitting in their jungle, basically. Yes, yeah, interesting. But you outsmarted the Cloud9 guard, so it worked <laughs> out. You got away safely. <laughs> You're good. All right, so let's talk about one of the other matches coming up today. Uh, the one actually right in front of us is going to be uh, TSM versus Counterlogic Gaming. Big hype match. Smithy, we'll start with you. How do you feel about this game? Uh, it's pretty much just like an old matchup. Uh, everyone wants to watch that. Uh, like, I remember all the MLG Anaheim game where everyone was so hyped. Uh, and it's pretty much just like going to be an intense match. Hopefully, everyone likes it. Snoopy? I think that I think Dexter might outplay Odd One a little bit. Um, but I'm more excited to see the bot lane, to be honest. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the rush hour against X Special and uh, Wild Turtle. I think, as well, it also kind of factors into this all star talk that's on uh, the internet, right on Reddit right now. Mm. is who's going to go, is it going to be X-Special, is it going to be Afro, and I think it's really interesting to see who actually, how that comes out in the bot lane. 
Yeah, that'll be fun. So guys, we want to actually pick your brain uh, on our Twitter question of the day today. We're asking everybody, which North American LCS pro would you want to watch stream and why? So you guys, Smithy, we'll start with you. Who would you want to watch stream? Um, mostly the funny ones. I like uh, Kitty Pie the most because uh, <laughs> I just like him uh, watching him and well, he's not really trolling. So look at just how he talks to his viewers and mm -hmm. it's pretty unique. Yeah, I would, I would have to say Cutie is pretty funny to watch. Um, like not necessarily just for the players, like a great player as well, but just watching was like really, really entertaining. And some of the stuff he comes up with is just, it's, it's absolutely hilarious if you, you catch on to it, it's good. <laughs> All right, two for Cutie Pie then. Yeah. He's racking up some good scores here. Thank you guys both for joining us now. And for you guys at home, uh, you can send your answers to at LOL Esports and be sure to use the hashtag LCS. And then stay tuned to see if we read on air your 140 character gems later in the show. Gems like Tarek. Now, guys, before we go, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to see Reginald and Team Solomid take on 